One of my friends recently asked me about use cases for uh, left joins, and this is kind of a, a popular thing where she was like, I don't really quite understand why anyone would ever use a left join. And in general, there are a lot of people out there that use left joins when they don't actually mean left join, uh, they mean inner join. Um, so that is true, and just because you see that, especially if you work for a company, doesn't necessarily mean that's what the person intended, so you definitely want to go digging around and make sure. But one of a, a really good example of a case in which, a use case in which we can use a left join, um, I always like, with especially with energy companies, we use this a lot, is you'll have a table that has delinquent accounts, and then you will have the main customer table. And basically, if an account in the customer table is in, uh, the delinquent account table, then we know that that account is delinquent. If it's not in that table, then we know that the account uh, is not delinquent, right? So if you think about that, we could left join to that table and we could identify when an account is delinquent or not. And I'm going to kind of demonstrate this in a di different way. And this is with banking insurance and investment. If I select from each of these tables, and I have this simple example here. If I select from each of these tables, you'll notice that we have, let's scroll up here, we have various customers, uh, one through six, right? We'll notice that in our banking table, we have one through six. In our insurance table, we have two and four. And in our investment table, we have five. Now, if I was going to select star from banking and I was going to left join on client ID because it's all stores client ID, notice, by the way, I don't actually have to store all the information. I just have to store whether the client is in the investment or insurance or not okay if I select this you'll see that I have uh, the client IDs and then we'll see that we have these nulls right so for instance with insurance we have Jane and we have Sarah and then for investments we have James right so if we go and we look at this we could say if we were looking at our queries we want to determine whether a, cl a client has insurance accounts or whether they have investment accounts you can see that, uh, for instance, Jane and Sarah have inve uh, insurance accounts, and we see that James has an investment account, right? And so what we're doing is we're just looking and seeing what type of products they have. And this is just one approach. There's actually multiple approaches to, to getting this information, but this is one approach. And um, as a case in point, especially when we get into like analysis services, these could actually be you know, a dimension. We're going to drag and drop that dimension to see do they have an investment account or do they have... Uh, an insurance account and this is where left joins are actually very uh, handy that's when they're actually useful so we can use the not null because we know that if it's not null that means there was a match therefore they have an account their account number or their client I should say client ID is in there um, and then of course when it's null or we're just doing else zero here okay so that's just an example of where left joins can be handy that doesn't mean that every time you see a left join it's appropriately used I've caught so many of them not appropriately used it's it's crazy um, but anyway that should show you kind of an example of oh, okay so this is where a, there's a good use case here for it and with delinquent accounts especially if you ever work for an energy company uh, it's a really handy tool to use as well